what's up everyone welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome today we are bringing it back to like my old school channel days i actually started my channel based on makeup i thought i was gonna be like a makeup channel and i was quickly like no sis that ain't it you are not good at this but i still have a passion for makeup i still love it i love it almost as much as i love fashion but i thought we would bring it back to the olden days and by olden days i mean like a year ago and do a first impressions on this concealer the infallible full wear concealer my sister actually is the person who told me about this and she said it was a dupe or it is a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape, which is my tried and true concealer. I love it. I'm actually excited because I'm almost done this one. And if this is like the same thing, like it even looks the same, I'm gonna be the happiest person in the world. Can we just take a moment to look at how similar the packaging is? Like they literally took the same tube. It's the same size. It's literally the identical same height. Like what the heck do you think that l'oreal was like since shape tape is the best concealer and most popular concealer on the market let's just make it look identical down to the doe foot applicator which is like literally the same so people will be like hmm that looks like tarte shape tape the best selling concealer let me buy it is that what they did because that'd be really smart because <laughs> It worked on me. It says it is the most pigmented and full coverage concealer with an extra large applicator to provide maximum coverage in just one stroke. Won't transfer, fade, or flake, and dries down to a thin natural finish that lasts up to 24 hours. Okay, actually I haven't found a drugstore concealer that I'm like dying over, so if this stuff is good, I'm gonna be really, really excited because it's like $10 compared to Shape Tape, which is like $35 Canadian dollars. And I got three for the price of one, which is crazy. Shade range is pretty good. I mean, most of them were sold out, so I didn't get to see like the full shade range, but from what they had, it was pretty good. I got the shades 360. In Shape Tape, I'm light medium, so I got the color 360 to kind of be a dupe, but it might be too light. So I also got 365 to kind of mix together to kind of hopefully create my perfect shade and then this one is also perfect for like spot concealing and then a contour shade so the game plan for today is to use tarte shape tape on one eye this on the other eye and we'll just see if it's truly a dupe you guys know on my channel we live on a bougie on a budget lifestyle and if we can get a bougie on a budget version of tarte shape tape that would be amazing i'm going to zoom you guys in and we'll get started Alrighty, so concealer is actually my favorite part of my makeup routine i'm very excited about this and let's just get into it looking at it i hope these colors are similar and i'm going to be blending it out with a real techniques sponge so light medium is my favorite i do put on quite a bit of concealer just because i find it's like truly what makes you look flawless and i drag my concealer up to really lift my eye i'm gonna go in first with the color 360 365 was the next one up and it was quite a bit darker so i was kind of confused but let's see how the color it's a little lighter and i think this has less of a peachy tone um so i may be walking around with two different colored eyes today i'm gonna <laughs> add a little bit of the darker one just to kind of make it be a little bit more even you can see this is definitely more pinky tone i think i prefer this kind of undertone and then we're gonna go blend it out quickly look at that okay i'm gonna flip the little beauty blender over and ooh. Ooh. So my sister actually did this exact video, so I stole her idea. And when I was looking at her eyes, I actually like the um, L'Oreal better. I think I applied a little bit more L'Oreal, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit more shape tape just to really cover up any under eye bag discoloration. I feel like the shape tape is kind of a little bit more for minimizing. Now I always kind of conceal all over my face. So I'm going to do the same thing. This side of my forehead is going to be shape tape. I conceal my whole nose. This side is going to be shape tape. And then this side is going to be L'Oreal. Hmm. 
Both are blending really easily. See this forehead. Okay, they look identical. <laughs> Okay, whoa, I'm kind of shocked because they look identical. Like, they blended identically. I can't even see a difference. Can you guys see a difference? I got the shade 425 Chestnut to contour. I'm going to contour on both sides. Kind of scared, not going to lie, because kind of <laughs> kind of really dark. I could have gone with a lighter shade than this but i guess we'll see i do cream contour pretty much pretty much every day not normally with concealer normally with like a contour stick all right you guys my first impression is that this concealer looks just as good as shape tape if not a little bit better because it's not as drying like my under eye doesn't look as dry. I'm trying to like see if they feel heavier. They feel the exact same, but I guess the true test is to see how it holds up throughout the day. Go ahead and get the rest of my makeup on my face and I'll come back and let you guys know how that went. See you guys in just Alrighty you guys, so my makeup is on. I have to say both the shark, both the Tarte Shape Tape and the L'Oreal Concealer performed the exact same way. The only difference I did notice was that the pores on my Shape Tape side looked a tiny bit smaller, but in terms of coverage and all of that, it, it they really look identical. If pores were a huge concern of yours, you can get a pore minimizing primer if that was just something that really bothered you. Oh, this is scary. Like I said, I don't know if you can tell, the pores on the Tarte Shape Tape do look smaller. I did not use any sort of um, pore minimizer, and I know that if I did, the pores on this side would be like gone. Now, I got a few messages saying that I really didn't like this concealer. It wasn't for me. It was so drying. Um, now, if you don't like Shape Tape, you're probably not going to like this. So if you already know you don't like Shape Tape, I would just skip out on this directly because it is a very full coverage concealer. Um, it is going to cancel out like everything on your face. But if you're like me and you use Shape Tape almost every single day, I don't think like as of right now, I'm going to be repurchasing this when it's done because this just performs so so well i have a long day of work ahead of me it is currently let me get my phone so you guys know i'm not lying right now i'm using the money shot case isn't it stunning right now it is 12 31 i have another video to film so that's what i'm going to be doing next and then i have a whole day of editing and working on cnc ahead of me i am going to be doing the check-ins throughout the day Okay, so what time is it now? I don't even know. I've been filming. It's 2.21, and I think it's time to do our first check-in. So, so far, my makeup has held up really well. Normally, when I do a try-on, my face makeup gets all messed up because I'm constantly, like, taking things off, and my try-ons get really intense. I feel like this side looks better. Mom, do you want to come here for a sec? Which uh, under eye do you think looks better? I think that one. This one? Yes. $10. Oh my god. And that one's 40. Well, 35. Is it really? Yeah. There you go. My mom said it. Yeah, I honestly think at this point, there's not one that I look at and I'm like, oh my god, that one is so much better. They kind of just look the same. And at this point, that's kind of what we want because Shape Tape is already amazing. We just want a more affordable version. If they look the same, then I'm happy because... That's what right, I was going So I'm filming this on my phone, but I wanted to capture the moment in its true form. So I was looking in my bathroom mirror at the two different eyes and I noticed the um, drugstore concealer looks less dry. Like it looks more like real skin, less dry. And I used the same amount of powder. No, I'm liking it, okay? I know this is not part of the video and you probably don't care, but I just wanna tell you guys, if you like dirty chai lattes or chai lattes in general, my sister gave me this. It's a Trader Joe's spicy chai latte mix. What I did, it says to mix one scoop 
into six ounces of hot water. I mixed it into six ounces of coffee and it gave the most perfect dirty chai latte. My sister's gonna be so mad she gave it to me because chai's my favorite. So thankful, but she's probably gonna take it back when she sees it. Alrighty, you guys, so I'm officially calling it a day. I've been working all day. It is now 8.37. I am not going to bed yet. I still have to edit this whole video, but I want to edit this so that it is done and ready to go up. So I didn't have a very hard day today. I basically just filmed and edited and that's it. But I did have this makeup on from around 12 o'clock. My final impressions on this concealer. I almost forgot what it was called. My makeup held up pretty well. I'm looking a little greasy. It looks identical. I feel like the L'Oreal concealer is more hydrating. The only thing I noticed was the pores. I don't know if my pores are worse on this side, so I'll have to try it on both sides, but I'm really impressed. You know what? I'm really impressed. I know it's really hard to say whether or not any makeup product is really amazing after just trying it once. Based solely on my first impressions and how it performed today, I love it and I really think that it is a dupe for the Shape Tape concealer. If you don't like Shape Tape, you probably won't like this concealer because they're almost identical. I would recommend checking it out. If you do like Shape Tape, you will be able to save a lot of money by buying this instead. If there's any changes in my thoughts, I will do an update on my Instagram, so make sure to follow me. I'm just at Tony Subdallas on there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week, and I'll see you guys back here next time.